It's the most efficient way of doing rhino darting. So the guys have located a white rhino bull just on the bottom here. So we're just waiting for the chopper to come in and then obviously they're there to dart it and we're hidden on foot. Left here, they could have managed to get a dart in the, the white rhino, one of the ones that they were looking for this morning. Um, so we're going we're gonna to ease in there slowly now, and they're going to cut the, the regrowth on the horn. So this rhino has been dehorned before. Doing here is uh, there's an old track and collar on this rhino's uh, leg, so they're just going to replace it. Front, front, 29. Right. We're just going to give him the reversal. It'll take about two, three minutes to get up. He's lying badly on a leg here, so I want to get him up as quick as possible now. We've been having a few problems finding the other rhino that we were planning on uh, on dehorning. The helicopter's flying just to my left here at the moment, and uh, they said that they'd found some rhino in there. And we'll see if we'll be able to get a darkened one and, and do the second one. If not, I guess we'll have to come back tomorrow. Um, thanks very much. See you back. Magnificent uh, bully, seven years old. We cut the horn off, um, and now they're going to give him the antidote and put him up. But he's really great. He's a magnificent animal. We're very lucky. So this is the second rhino this morning. Um, there were actually two bulls together. We managed to dart the first one, and now they've just managed to dart the second one. Do we need water? Yeah, it's just a little bit. 